Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to a Tips and Tricks video here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And, uh, yeah, I found out something interesting, and, um, yeah, it's about pumps and managing your pressure. For some, it might be, wow, others might be, really? And some, it should be like, well, yeah, I know that. But, either way, we're going to take a look at it. Uh, this was actually given to me by somebody on my Discord, and I'm... I'm glad he contacted me about this, because this is actually pretty cool, because you can do some interesting things with it. I'm going to show you some of my preliminary findings and such, so. Hope you like what you watch. Hope you enjoy what you see. If you do, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Helps out the channel immensely. And let's get into this. I think I took a breath. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what this is, um, don't mind that project over there. <laughs> um, what it is, is it has to deal with pumps and pressure. Now, like I said, this was somebody on my Discord came to me. Uh, uh, Dargino is his name. He went ahead and shout out to him. He went to uh, inform me about this, about something interesting about pumps. Now, in the end of the day, it is interesting, but not like super detriment you know super uh what's the term i'm looking for like it's a trick it really is a trick but a trick that can be used in very interesting ways so we're going to take a look at the pumps here we have two pumps primarily for this case we have the two electric pumps now, as far as the other pumps, the impellers, we will get to them in a moment. I have something interesting to go over with them as well. Uh, I did not actually look at the modular engine pump because it requires a crankshaft, but I'm pretty sure it will fall under the same category as the impeller, so the small impeller. So we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so what we have here was we have the pumps. Let me get a... Actually, let me set this up real quick. Okay, so, as you can see, we have empty gas tanks at the moment. And we're just mainly messing with air. Because what I'm going to show you is all about how pumps handle pressure. Um, so, as you can see, tanks are empty. And what this is, we can actually now see the difference in the power of how much pressure these things can generate. Now... I did the small ones because I wanted to show, you know, I wanted to show a quick fill. Well, the thing is, is this one stops at 11 pressure, or 11 ATM of pressure. We go up to 60. Well, you're like, how does that show a difference? They're like, well, here's the thing. What this was brought to attention is, I was told, is that through, you know, testing, he found out, this person found out that he is very confident that the large electric pumps generate a hundred atmospheres of pushing force. And that's how I'm describing it. But yeah, it's like, well, how do you prove that? Well, if we take this, and we're going to bring this down to 50%. Power bar down to 50%, and we're going to bring this power bar down to 50%. Now, remember previously the small one did 11. I'm pretty sure that's 10 plus one atmosphere. You know, the outside atmosphere is helping push. But this one maxed out at 60. I don't think that was the equivalent. Um, exchange between these on their relevance to each other. So these are now at half power. Again, they're emptied out. And you see this one stops at six. That's five plus one. And this one has stopped at 50. That's 10 times what this is now that's 50.9 but again that that's that one atmosphere push that's how that's how i'm seeing it and it's also like a delay in response and all that but for the most part i'm saying it's 50 
you can get a little specific otherwise, but you know, for the most part, it is 10 times this. And we can repeat this as many times we want. Even going as far, putting this one up to 58%, and then putting this at 58%, We go and hit the button, and this stops at 6.8, and that stops at 59, just short. So this one, the small one with this generates 10 atmospheres of pushing force. This one generates 100 for every percent on the bar that you put it, it will give you one atmosphere of motion. Like, well, how can we use this to be of any use? Well, that basically gives you, allows you to set up a hard cap on the tanks. So you can actually set this up to uh, push into a tank up to a certain amount. And I did some testing, and I found out you could actually stack them in a really cool way. So, let me pull up my little experimental board. Okay, so, I have this little demonstrator board I had set up while I was experimenting with things. Now we've got four pumps. We've got a button here that controls four pumps. These three, plus this one. I have just a regular small one to show as control of what we did earlier. They're all set to 50%, by the way. I have this for multi-tank, same size, and then we have multi-tank with different sizes. Yes, I know that's the same size as this one, but still, there are, you know, it's different. And then I have a custom tank, which right now is, you know, sits at that right there. Now, these are all set at 50, and the whole point is seeing how they act with each of the different layouts and type of tanks. And this one's our control to match what I just showed in, you know, just a moment ago. As you can see, stopped at 50.9, 51, 50 and these are all at 51 as well. So it is balancing it, the pressure between each of the tanks, and as far as the custom tank is concerned, uh, it still needs a little bit of time. Okay, and we got about three, two, one, and you can see it just dies out. So it's sitting there at 50%. Now here's an interesting thing. You see these two pumps here? These are actually set at 30%. Now the, the pressure in here is flowing back into their ports, so as you can see they have like 50 sitting in their ports for 50 atmospheres and even though I turn them on they're not going to do anything because of the higher pressure. So it's a good interesting way to hard cap how much pressure you can put in a tank without actually having to monitor the pressure of the tank because this is allows you to put a built-in cap that's monitored by the sheer physics of the game alone. So in other words with a simple slider, you can get rid of some barometric monitoring. It makes simpler microcontrollers or stuff. For example, however, it also creates a hard cap, and that if you want to go beyond it, you're going to need additional pumps that can go beyond that hard cap to add into there. Okay, now there's something else I want to show. Let me reset this. Okay, I've got it reset. Now, as you can see, these two pumps right here they're set at 30%. This one's set at 50%. Here's the interesting thing you can do. We turn this one on, and these will run all the way till they get 30%. Now say you might need 30% for any specific reason. And these will get up to there. And then they stop. Well, I now want to get to 50%. I can then just turn on this one, which will turn on this one in turn, and it will start adding on top of there. 
So in sense, what you can do, you see it's still going up and it will hit 50 ATM eventually. To be honest, it feels like it's going a little easier. But yeah, as you can see, clocks out and stops at 50%. Now, with one more reset, what I'm going to show is we're going to hit both this one and this one at the same time. And you can watch it go up. Now it's got three pumps worth going until it hits 30, and then it will slow down. Because only one pump can actually go above that 30 mark. Because these have already shut down. They can register it, but they can't fight against it, so they've technically stopped, as you can see with the fluid out. But this one is still doing its thing. And it will keep going. Alright, let me reset one more time. We have one more thing to cover. Okay, now the one thing I want to cover here, and this one I haven't researched a month. I re I did go into it just enough to figure out what was going on, if it could be done, and it can. And the funny thing is, it shows there's not much real difference between the potential of the small impeller and the large impeller. So what I have here is the impeller pumps. And we have the small one set up right here. I did have gearboxes to test it out, and it really doesn't seem that much of a difference because at the end of the day, whatever you do to increase the RPS on the motor, it seems it still comes down to the same RPS that's turning the impeller. So they're kind of, yeah. But anyways, what I have here is a box, a little door switch box. I've got the open button or on set to point 0.1. This is how low I had to go with this. Now if I come over and start the system up for here, as you can see, we've got the same 800 liters a second of gas that was being ran by these and the one over there because my dual input. So I'm not even using that much power on the motor, just 0.1 on the throttle and I'm getting the maximum input for just moving air in for pressure. Fluids might be a different issue, but we're talking gas and pressure, so... But as you can see, it's already coming to a stop because it has hit the 30... has hit 30... 31 RP, uh, uh, pressure. So essentially, you can set the electric motors on the impeller pumps or whatever it is you got going on. It could be an actual, but whatever it is, you can actually set it up to control the impeller pumps to actually control the pressure in the same manner. It's just the value is actually pretty damn low, as you can see here. Okay, so I exchanged the small impeller for the large impeller pump. I go to hit the button. It's at the same setting, 0.1 on the throttle. And the, the, as you can see, it's still, like, just as fast. Okay, and as you can see, this one stopped. The larger one stopped at 33.1 atmosphere, which is only a little bit better than... The smaller impeller pump. Now, I believe that, you know, if you have a, a higher torque motor, like, say, the medium electric motor, it might be a bit more different story. I'm not sure. I haven't tested that far yet. But, you know, for the same value, you only got, like, what, like, three atmospheres? Three atmospheres and some change more. But, yeah, this allows you to cap it off of here just using the impellers. However... You can, what I'm, there is one small caveat to this. It can be a pro and a con, depending on how you set it up. 
if I was to turn this off, all the air now rushes out back through the impeller and out the input. At which point you have to turn it back on to refill it. So if you go to use this, I would suggest make sure you have a some way to man to close the the valves either on this side of the pump or this side of the pump, so you can keep the gases in, so you can turn off the motors. Otherwise, it's just going to let it all back out. And like I said, you can actually use that to your own advantage to do x whatever you need it to do. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, as I said, with this little bit of uh, interesting info, you can, can hard, like, hard cap using the electric pumps by adjusting their power level with the slider to create a cap on a tank without actually needing barometric data and just use the physics of the game with the gases to cap them. And it, it can be interesting. And you can create stages of gas introduction because if it gets too high, then a motor can't run on it and thus it will slow it down to be more precise. You know, it's, I'm, I like this idea. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Um, I might actually implement it to a few things because I like them to be capped around 52 pressure. Uh, yeah, and this will allow so I don't over pressurize and I like that. So, anyways, um, yeah, and like I said, this came from the help of a Discord member, uh, Watcher, Dargino, shout out to you, man, and, uh, yeah, um, this is Arcades, hope you enjoyed which watch, hope you liked what you saw, if you did, you know the deal, you know the spiel, this is Arcades, signing out, I know I said my name twice, but whatever, have yourself a good day, Whee!